Here are the tools needed to replace the pistons, valves, and seals in the RC pump series. Here are the kits and their included parts. Both the discharge and inlet valves are the same, so I will only show the replacement of one of the valves. To remove the six valve caps on the manifold, use a 17 mm hex socket. Clean the valve caps and any thread adhesive. Using something sharp to clean the o-ring may pierce it. It would be best to use your thumbs. Next, using a pair of reverse pliers, remove the valves by grasping the plastic valve cage and pull straight out. Clean the threads of any debris. Before you put in the new valves, take a small tool and test if the poppet is working properly. Make sure the valve is square in the port. A 3 8 inch socket extension can be used to seat them. To put the valve cap securely back on, you will need a drop of thread adhesive on each cap. Make sure the adhesive is medium strength. Torque valve caps each to 217 inch pounds. To change the pistons and seals, start by removing the eight manifold bolts using a five millimeter hex socket. Hammer the head evenly so that you can fit two screwdrivers on opposite sides. Use the screwdrivers to lift up the head applying even pressure. Replacing the pistons requires the piston nuts to be taken off with a 13 mm hex socket. Once off, clean the nut end threads for the leftover thread lock. Removing the copper washers requires the use of a razor blade. Twist and pull the piston off of the rod. Also pull off the brass slinger. Clean the threads and pull off the small o-ring with a mechanics pick. Put on the new slinger and o-rings. Clean the piston, then twist and push it back on. Add on the new copper washers and add a drop of medium strength thread adhesive on the piston nut threads. You will need to torque them to 106 inch pounds. Next, remove the rear piston guide using a reversible pliers. Grasp the seal under the piston guide and wiggle side to side while pulling. Here's another type of reversible pliers. Parts inside of the manifold start with the three support rings with their flat side down. Then comes the high pressure seals which you have to firmly press in. Put the high pressure seal in at an angle and work the edges in. On top of that is the front piston guide with the arched side down.
Put the O-ring on the rear piston guides. Next, take the low pressure seal and fit the PTFE scraper into the top. Set the low pressure seal on a flat surface with the scraper facing up so it doesn't fall out. Press the rear piston guide on the top of it so it stays in place. Press into the manifold with the seal facing down. To reinstall the head onto the drive end, rotate the crankshaft so the two outside plungers are extended equally. Install the head bolts and torque to 225 inch-pounds using an alternating pattern to evenly distribute pressure.